Hey guys, it's Drew from Yoga Life here. I'm here with Joanne and Dina, and we're going to be doing a little sun breath, sun salutation oriented practice today. Uh, always something great to start the day with. Uh, middle of day, really any time of day, it's perfect. So with that said, we're going to get started. Sitting up nice and tall in a cross-legged seat. Take a few breaths here, just getting a sense of the earth underneath you, your body connected with it, and maybe these first couple of exhales breathing out through your mouth. So really letting it go. You can keep your hands where they are or find Namaste Mudra, perhaps setting an intention for these next few moments and this time we have together. Eyes cracking open if they're closed. Take a moment to switch your feet. It's always nice to alternate which leg is in front. Perhaps next time you sit down, other leg starts in front. And from there, take an inhale, bring your arms up to the sky. Really feel as though your hands are stretching your side body, lifting from the earth up. Another inhale. Exhale, arms come down just slightly, either along your sides or behind you. A gentle potted palm here. Starting to walk your hands forward, starting to hinge forward. You can see Joanne will be doing sort of more modified variations here. She has blocks under her knees. It in no way changes. This is just yoga, folks. So really just getting the effects here. Hands can walk out in front if you choose to. Make it more about extending from your hips than really driving your face forward. Not so important. And then as you're ready, starting to walk yourself up or you can walk right over the knees, bringing your hands underneath your shoulders. So as you move and transition from pose to pose, really do what you need to do. Hands under your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And just take a couple of breaths here, maybe a little bit of a shifting of your hip side to side. Really feel your fingers spreading wide, starfish hands here. With an inhale, curl your toes under, peel your shoulders back. Gaze is going to turn up. A little softness in that heart, so cow pose. Initiate your exhale, point through your toes, round your spine up to the sky. Shins pressing towards earth. Start your next inhale, then start the movement, arching cat here. And in the same way, start the exhale, point your toes round to the sky. You're already starting and using the Ujjayi breath, that victorious breath, continuing on on your own breath here. So it's a partially sealed off throat, that full echoey inhale and full echoey exhale. You're always welcome to do extra rounds of anything. You can pause. Maybe you want to take it all the way back to extended seal. Really feel the seat going back to your heels. Maybe you want to freestyle a little bit. You can shift from side to side. You can rotate around, really make it cat-like. Totally up to you. Coming back up to a neutral spine. Extra inhale to curl your toes under. And with an exhale, Lift your knees off the earth, press your hands into the earth, so sending your seat skyward for Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. That first down dog of the day, perhaps for you. So really just kind of easing into it, you might want to pedal out your feet. Maybe you want to bend your knees, let your navel move back towards your thighs, lengthening your spine. All these little ways to start to wake up these parts of your body with your breath, and with focus. One more breath just like that, perhaps heels reaching back and down, legs lengthening. Looking to your hands, take a stroll up to your hands. Feet are going to stay hips distance apart and parallel and fold out over your legs. So you can see a couple variations should you choose to. You can hold on to opposite elbows and ragdoll. You can have hands on blocks. The blocks have three heights, so pick one that's right for you. And then simply let it be about letting it go. Let your head go. 
there's thoughts you've been holding on to, they can just work right out and into the earth. Little shake of the head, yes. Shake of your head, no. And then just let your head be there. If you need to have your knees bent to find the earth or hands on something, do that. And in time, you can straighten your legs. Just another breath here, one full inhale. Full exhale, releasing those arms to the earth. You can always switch arms in the middle there with ragdoll. And then as you're ready, either rolling it up or lengthening your way up to stand. The rolling up is really nice. Maybe pause with the exhales. Just roll with your inhales. So eventually you're standing, you're in Tadasana. You can keep your feet underneath your hips or bring big toes to touch heels slightly apart. Either way, outer feet parallel to your outer mat. With that Ujjayi breath, that really full breath, take your arms up to the sky. Exhale, dive out over your legs. Hands find the shins on your inhale. Lengthen halfway up. Peel your shoulders back. Deepen into those crease lines. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Really rising from your roots. Reach up from the earth. Arms meet overhead. Exhale, either hands to namaste or along your sides. You're going to take one more just like that. Reaching for the sky. Exhale and dive. Try to contain your movements in your breath. Find length with your breath in. Try not to shift your hips back. Forward fold. Deepen into those crease lines. Really let yourself find the earth. Reverse it. Come all the way up. And arms along your sides. Again, you can always pause in your heart center. Take an extra breath here. If you did want to do more sun breaths, you're more than welcome to. We're going to move on to a sun salutation. So taking your arms up to the sky with an inhale. Dive out. Prepare. Lengthen. Step your left foot back. Knee can drop, so that back knee can drop to the earth or not. Hands go onto either your front thigh or straight up to the sky for a high lunge. Exhale, hands come down, frame out your front foot. Bring it back to plank, either with knees lifted or on the earth. And here it is, your offering to the earth. Elbows bent straight back, lower, chaturanga. Coming through into cobra. Point through the toes, tops of your feet on the earth. Really lift through your spine. One more breath in. Hands press into the earth, roll over your knees. Going back to Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. If at this moment you needed to drop down to child's pose, you're more than welcome to, or extended seal, you're more than welcome to. That's a restorative pose. Otherwise, staying here. Inhale, look to your hands. Stepping your left foot up between your hands. Help it up if you need to. Same thing, taking your arms to the sky with your breath in. Little wiggle through your fingers this time if you'd like, that energy moving through them. Exhale, dive right back out over your legs. Back foot steps up on your inhale, find that length in your spine. Forward fold on your exhale. Take it all the way up. Hands meet in your heart center. Feel that thumb graze your heart. Inhale, peel it, arms either down, around, and up, or straight up to the sky. Exhale, pour out over your legs. Try not to shift your seat too far back. Prepare, fingertips in the earth, or on shins. Right foot steps back this time, so switch it. Reach for sky. Hands come down. Palms flat into the earth. Front foot meets your back foot in plank. Chaturanga, slow, soft, landing towards earth. You can pull through into your upward facing dog, Urva Mukha Svanasana, or Cobra. Downward facing dog, rolling over the knees or feet. 
we all meet there. Again, another place where if you need to rest, you do. Down dog's always a resting pose. Look to your hands with your breath in. Step that right foot up. Rise and shine, take it right up to the sky. Hands come back down. Back foot stepping up to meet your front, long spine. Forward fold. Take it all the way up. Hands find your heart center, namaste, right back where we started. So take a few moments here in Tadasana, just taking in the effects of these movements on the breath, this energizing, this charging up, and this time that you set aside for yourself. You're always welcome to continue through with more sun salutations, with more sun breaths, or simply perhaps set an intention for the day. Thanks so much for sharing your time, your practice. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Namaste.